All right, guys, so I'm fixing to head out and do a little bit of fishing. And what I've got is I've got my Ultralight Ugly, G Ugly Stick GX2, my Quantum uh, Stage and see something like that. I got my Panfish box and a little uh, Dock Demon there stuck in it, the spin cast version. We're going to go see if we can't get on some bluegill or some just any panfish. And, uh, yeah, catch y'all when we get to the lake. Hi, guys. So we made it to the lake and I've had uh, three rods casted out. I only have two out right now. And I had a big hit on my cork rod. So I don't know how deep we're fishing or anything like that. But there's uh, about three people fishing that I can see out here. And this lake is not really known for really catching big fish. It's just right by my house, so I came to it so I could make a video. But I only had one hit, and I've been here for just a little while. So, no. I just fish around until I find a spot where they're at, and then I'll stop there. But... Yeah, I just had the first bite here, so catch y'all if I get another one. Alright, guys. First fish of the day. Nice little blue gill. Get over here. Get him unhooked. Alright, let me get a little more situated. First little fish of the day. A little bluegill. I seen some popping up, so I uh, threw over to where they were popping up. As soon as it hit the water, got this guy. So I think we're gonna. Maybe we're going to probably release this guy, maybe. Or not throw him on a stringer and do a catch and cook. Okay. All right, we're going to do a catch and cook for this guy. So I'm going to throw him on the stringer and get back with you guys in a second. Whew. All right, guys, I was just going to show y'all what I caught that fish on. Uh, it's my little ultra out yard with a tiny piece of night crawler. A little weight on a barrel swivel and uh yeah got that guy trying to catch a crappie so i got another rod a little further out and then i got a, a dock demon rigged up for a catfish so we'll see if we can't catch any more guys well guys i'm getting a bite on the slip core creek. I just turned the camera on to get it. To see, uh, to, th to just show the cast. But, and my slip cork bobber went under. Well, I don't know if it's gonna do it again. If it does, then we'll be prepared there. Well, guys, I, sl I switched up the uh, slip cork rig to a bottom rig with a size full hook and a little hunk of shrimp that I soaked in some garlic. I'm just going to cast it out there. I think the fish are going to be more on the bottom. So, yeah, I think a little bit of shrimp on the bottom, that'll catch either a catfish or really anything in here that wants the garlic smelling shrimp. So I'll catch y'all back if I get a bite or catch them. Okay, guys, I have moved locations. Um, already got my bluegill rod casted out. See if we can't get something on it. But uh, it's around 4:50. I'm gonna have to be leaving soon, so I'm trying to just move around and catch as many fish as I can. So I guess I'm gonna put that one. In the opposite direction and see if we can't just get a bite but for both of them it's the same I have a piece of night crawler on both rigs but with one rig I got a size 6 hook and the other one I got a size 4 but maybe we'll hook up with something 
switching up the bluegill rig to a tiny a tiny split shot just the same amount of worm and the same size hook that I've been using let's see if we can't hook up well throw it I was I, I really mess up my fishing spots don't I like I just flipping needed it and it smoked the bit on water I underestimate how good you can throw this little four pound line is what is wrong but yeah so I'll catch y'all if I get a bite all right guys I'm gonna throw in a different spot than I have been because I've been seeing them eat though so again same rig that I've been using all night or all day I wish the park was open at night because then we could do some night fishing so I've been using the same worm I know y'all just pointed out the water but I got it for me though because I've been seeing some pop up thing. I'm just gonna catch it on camera. But I've been seeing some pop on the water, like I said. And I threw a little weightless worm and I couldn't catch anything. So I'm just gonna throw this in a different location. I've been casting by the dock. I think they're just too small right there. Because they're really pecking at my worm and stuff, but I'm not getting anything. So I'm going to show y'all where I'm going to cast. Then I'll catch y'all if I get a bite. Alright, right there. I've been seeing them smoke some bunch right there. I've been swimming on the surface. So let's see if we can't get one. Alright, I'm gonna turn the camera off. Here. Guys, right when I said I'm gonna turn the camera off and see if I get one, I get this guy just smokes it. Yes, dude, that is what I've been waiting for all day. About the same size as the last one. But I no joke you, as soon as I hit that camera button to turn it off, this guy smokes it. He just started, I have my drag set really low, because you might get a bass, and he started peeling out drag. Nice little bluegill. Second one of the day. It's a pretty little guy. Okay. Now I've got something for to show for fishing. This dude is small, but he has some shoulders on him, man. All right, I was finna leave, but I think I'm gonna fish here for 10, 20 more minutes, see if we can't catch some more of these. Have more than two bluegill to show for the day. I just got another one right there. Same little deal. Oh yeah, that's that's a baby right there. Boy, howdy. I, I, look at the hook set on them though. My goodness, guys. Look at that. Right through the daggone mouth, but that dude's too small. We're going to have to throw him back. But a beautiful leather little bluegill right out of this area. I threw it in there. It probably sat there 10 seconds, 15 seconds. This guy come and picked it up. So we're definitely, we found him. But I'm glad there's no fish around here because usually you get to holler them the next day or whatever. They'll come in here and they'll fish and they'll catch all your fish out of your spot. The only bad thing if I throw this guy back. He'll go right back to his buddies and uh, go tell him that I'm here. But he's way too small, so I'm going to have to throw him back. Guys, just hooked up. This guy was being finicky. I mean, he tapped it and ran. But look how small he is. A little bitty guy. But bad as it sounds, I'm, I'm probably going to eat this guy. I've been craving bluegill. And if I, I can just scale this guy and eat him whole, so... I might just do that. But I've been craving some fish. Oh gosh, well he might get away. Before I can even show him. Yeah, he's gonna get away. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just, I'll just leave it out there, get a tape or two, and then they just take it. But I'm probably gonna try to throw one out there a little deeper. 
I'm glad I finally found where they're congregated at. On this lake, these bluegill are so weird. They do it like they're uh, bedding all year long. They, uh, they kind of just go out in the just the random spots and just stay there. It's like they're bedding all year round. I know they're not, but it seems that way sometimes. So uh, I'm gonna turn the camera off here, see if I can't get a bite. Well, guys, uh, I just ended the video there. Oh, so, oh, never mind. I thought this was another. I thought this was a golden chowner. And uh, I was getting a loop out of my line, and I just cast it out there, right where I seen one bust, and got a little bluegill. So maybe the video is not over. If you're still watching to this far, which I'm not like all the big time YouTubers, you probably clicked off a long time ago. But yeah, I mean, heck, they're still biting. And man, uh, it's hard for me to leave when the fish are biting. So. Maybe I can stick around for just a little bit longer. It's number five for the day. Definitely not a keeper. I'm just going to throw him back. Maybe he'll call his grandparents in to come, and come to his rescue. But Yeah, guys. Uh, that was kind of crazy because I was just getting the loop out of my line. I was not expecting that. Well, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all if I catch something. Okay, guys, so the video was going to be like 20 minutes long with the skin and just the skinning part in there because I was rambling a bunch. But I'm going to post it and the cooking video separate from this video. So this is the end, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.